and welcome back to my channel. I'm Abby and today I'm gonna do some painting. You may wonder why that entails me sitting on the floor with a plastic bin as my table. And really the answer to that is, this is what I have available at the moment. So this is what I'm going to use. It's not ideal, but I've painted on the floor before. So this is one step above that. Because my life is a mess right now, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to crochet anything this month. I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to do anything under studio lights until we had air conditioning up and running. But then the month kind of got away from me and I'm still waiting on those AC techs. So yeah, I've been feeling like painting lately. I'm not sure why I haven't done it in a little while. I think the last time I painted was Christmas for like Christmas presents. So the main thing that I've been wanting to paint happens to come from my sister as a suggestion. My sister, I think, asked me to paint this for her two years ago or to design it. I can't remember exactly what she asked me to do, but I'm painting it for her now as a present. I drew it all that time ago and I showed her the sketch. So this is as far as it's ever got before today. I took the liberty of sketching that sketch right onto the canvas so that you wouldn't have to watch me do that because it's basically just the same drawing moved over. I'm thinking about doing a galaxy behind this fishbowl. In case you're wondering, I'm not putting paint directly on this bin because I do like this bin. It's going on a Ziploc bag because that's the easiest way. I don't have a painter's palette. Just got Ziploc. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot in here. I'm already starting to feel a little hot. There are other things I could have done, like go to a different room, not be on the top floor where it's the hottest, but we live life on the edge down here. So of course the first thing I'm gonna do towards the galaxy is completely black out around this fishbowl. I don't know why I'm acting like this is a tutorial. I think I'm gonna be the only one painting this. I don't know how much of this I should mention it's not like it matters but if you see my hands and they look super red and terrible um, I have a problem with overwashing my hands and they get really dry and then when I put lotion on my hands it burns really bad the rehydrating is the worst part because <laughs> you know a lot of these uh, commercials and stuff they tell you like wash your hands like all the time and I'm not against that uh, you just have to know that if you do that, you're going to have to also rehydrate your hands somehow or use soap that isn't as tough on grease, I guess. Because when it means tough on grease, it also means that you, your hands are probably going to get really dried out. Another reason why I like doing the background first is that I'll have a place that's dry when I'm painting this inside to hold on to the canvas because right now as it stands I'm gonna have to be holding on to the middle for this part so there is the base black I feel like for galaxy people typically put in blues and purples maybe I need to like look up what galaxies look like I have not done anything related to galaxy paintings before I feel like I need I need something better than what I'm doing oh no I didn't think it was possible really to mess up Galaxy, but oh, it's possible. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yay! <laughs> Isn't that what's supposed to make painting fun? I'm gonna Google Galaxy real quick. Okay, I feel like I was on the right track, then I got scared. I need like a sponge for this. Ah, I could spend this whole time just trying to paint Galaxy, I think. Gotta make it look good. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better than what I was doing. How's your guys' summer been, huh? Has it been nice? <laughs> Mine's been okay. A little stressful, but you know, sometimes that's what you get. Sometimes you get stressed. I think I'm good now. I think what I need to do is add the stars and that'll make it come together. Oop, very, very liquid white. Dunk it in this and ruin our hands. Ready? Well, that really changes things, doesn't it? All right, don't wanna get too crazy. So that actually looks like a galaxy. <laughs> Why do I have unopened paints? I'm not messing with that right now. There's no way that this is gonna withstand the galaxy on the edges. I'm gonna need to do like a couple coats of this. 
my battery died, so I had to replace it. Luckily, I have an extra. I have to do a second coat of this top color. I am not the best at outlining. All right, top of fishbowl done. <laughs> now it's time to move on to the split. I think I'm gonna do the forest side first. I think I should invest in a palette like Bob Ross has so I can scrape some colors together, but I'd need better colors for that. So there is Mountain Divide. Trying to get some more color in there so it's not just boring gray. And I wish I had like an undo button with painting, <laughs> but you only get that if you do painting on your computer and I don't do that. Probably gonna add a whole lot more trees in here than I originally was planning just so I can balance out this mess. This is so hard to do and it's like so hot. I feel like I'm in a sauna. So I think I should draw the person and then do trees. Or should I do trees? No, I'll do the person first. Let's make her wear something purple. Let's worry about faces last. I'm gonna worry about the second half of this landscape just so I can get landscape down. Cause I'd like to be done with that part. That's like pretty much all I wanted to do for the desert. Except I'm thinking that now I might need, I don't know, it's just missing something. It's probably gonna be cliche to add little cacti, but I kinda wanna add some kind of greenery on both sides. This is gonna discourage me from wanting to paint for a long time. <laughs> time to add some greenery. Oh man, I've been going so long, that battery's even dying. I think it's just too hot. So I'm going to continue on with the little details. I'll try to film all of it, but we'll see what ends up sticking. And um, I'm just gonna zoom on over to the end of that because this is taking a long time and clearly my camera doesn't wanna do this anymore. And you know, I will see you at the end of this process. Sorry about that. I just didn't, I don't know. I didn't know how long it was gonna take. My camera keeps dying. I don't want a zillion hours of footage to look through, but I finished. Here it is. Here's the painting. I hope she likes it. It's been really hot over here and it's been hours. So hopefully it was fun enough for you to watch. I'm hoping to get into my typical crocheting video soon. If you know which Pink Floyd lyric this is, based on let me know in the comments below i gotta go clean all the paint off my hands and turn on some fans that rhymed i didn't mean for that to happen i hope i'll see you guys in my next video bye